let's talk about number one. All right, Miss Pliego. What do we got here? Read it to me. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, so now I want you to tell me what I have to do. First of all, tell me the formula again. I like what you just said. So everybody should write that down. Now, what do you think I'd do with those numbers? I don't want anybody saying anything. I want her to tell me. What do you think I do with those numbers? Well, but I'm, I'm okay with that. But what I'm asking you is, are you saying just to say 28 plus 6 or 28 times 6? <coughs> what? Now, now listen to me, kiddo, because you're not the only one, okay? So I, I'm, I'm helping. That's all I'm caring about right now. All right? So I want you to listen to me. You have to use all the information, so this looks perfect. So what else is in here that's important? Yes, the volume formula. All right, you know that. You don't have to act like you don't know. All right, so read me the formula for volume. Put your hand down. She's going to do it, just like I don't want her helping you with your problem. So what's the formula again? V equals one-third. Now, it says, what's the next thing? One-third what? Pi, right? But what did they say pi is in this problem? So instead of writing pi, I could write what? Now, am I doing one-third plus or one-third minus or one-third times or one-third divided by? That's exactly right. So you're going to put a little dot there, and then you're going to do 22 over 7. Very good, girl. That's what you're doing. Six squared, and then what? Listen to me. Hey, look up and listen to me. You understand what I'm saying, right? You you know that. All right. When you read something, it's not going to come to you right first thing. You got to read it carefully, right? There's a lot of problems here, and you just I haven't told you how to do any of them. You have to figure it out. All right. So now the annoying part, because I said we're going to do it without a calculator. All right. So can you tell me what six squared is? Good. So now I'm going to rewrite this as one third times 22 over 7 times 36 times 28. So now what can I reduce here? Okay. And like I said, if you already know the answer, go on to number two. What can I cross out? Because I'm, I'm definitely not going to multiply. 22 times 36 times 28. Do you agree? What can I cross out? What's in the denominator? What number is in the denominator? 3. So what number, which one of those numbers can be divided by 3? That's correct. Now keep looking up. I cross out the 3. Now 3 goes into 36. 3 goes into 3. There you go, girl. 12 times, okay? Now you're going to do the same thing with 7. What can I divide by 7? Now, again, what I'm saying now is, look here. Relax. There's a 7. One of these numbers is divisible by 7. Which one is it? Well, listen to me now. Here's how I'm showing you. No, no, look, look, that's what I'm getting at right now. 22 is 2 times 11. You with me? And 2 and 11 are both prime. So it's not 22. You understand what I'm saying right now? I appreciate it, and it doesn't matter. Okay? So now we're going over to 12. Definitely not. So now how many times does 7 go into 28?
good. So this becomes a 1, and this becomes a 4. With me on this? All right, now we're just multiplying. Now, the easiest one to multiply probably is 12 times 4. What's 12 times 4? 48. So now I have to do 48 times 22. Well, hey, listen to me now. Look up, look up, because I'm trying to save you some time. What's 48 times 10? Whenever you multiply by 10, you just add a zero. That's right, 480. All right? Now, I'm just showing you right off the bat that if 48 times 10 is 480, the answer can't be what? There you go. There you go. Does everybody see what we're doing, right? Test taking strategies. I don't feel like it's a time test. I don't feel like doing all that work. So that crosses out. All right? Now, uh, 48 times 10 again is what? 480. Now, 480, look up now, 480 plus 480. There you go, 960. Now, what I'm trying to show you now, pay attention, look up. 48 times 20 is 960. Do you agree with that? So what has to be the answer? Yes, because it's close, right? I need another 248. Do you agree with me on that? Do you understand what I just said? Right, so my answer has to be C, and I really can do that by estimating. Can I see that? And somebody like, well, I could have just done 48 times 22 and much quicker than all that. And, it, and I would say, yeah, that's perfectly fine. I just hated doing all the math work, right? I, I took all my standardized tests by eliminating answers. And, and doing the mental math, right? Good. Well, because it's 48 times 20. You with me? So I had 10 48s and 10 48s make 20 48. Good question. Thank you for listening. Go. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. No, 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 no. Listen, that's a good question, too. Hey. I need everybody listening. The only ones I can reduce is Plague you still with me, right? Because I'm happy. All right, still listen to me. If it's on top and on the bottom, we divide them. If they're on the top, we have to do what? Multiply them. You understand that? Right? There was a 12 on the top and a 3 on the bottom, so I reduced them. 28 and a 7. Top and bottom, I reduced it. You with me? All right. Good. You hear me? All right, that's how you get better. I don't care. Squirming around a little is not bad. All right, Yosef, read. Okay, tell me what I have to do here, buddy. Good. 140 is important. How many times do you pay 140? You pay it every month or just once? Is that what it says? Read the question for me now because I think you misunderstood. Read it loud and proud. Come on, man. What do you think this means? What does a one-time fee mean? You pay it once. All right, you may not know this, but if you join something, generally there's a cost to sign up, and then you pay the monthly fee. You hear me? All right. So I pay $140 how many times? I pay $140 how many times? Once. And then I pay what? A what? 
40 a month. So look, 140 plus $40 every what? Now look at what I wrote up there and see if you agree with that. You understand that, right? All right. Now, how much money did you give, give them? No. How much money did I give them? You gave them $500. So this is equal to what? Come on, Yosef. I feel like you're not, you're not with me. Yosef, this is, is equal to how much money? What did I just highlight? There you go, equals 500. Now I can understand, so look up, because I want to make sure you hear me. Right? You paid $140 once, and then you have to pay them what? $40 per what? You understand why this is 40M? Right? So if you join the membership for one month, you'd have to pay them how much money? Right. If you gonna if you're gonna stay in the gym for two months, you'd have to pay them what? No, just tell me. Plus, if I want to join for three months, I would do what? M is the number of months. How many months am I, did I just say? Three. So if I joined for three months, I'd have to pay them how much money? Whatever, what? 40 times, how many months did I say? Three, so it'd be 40 times. No, I'm not, listen to me. Yes, here's what you're mistaken. I understand what you're I'm not asking you for your answer. I'm asking you how I figured it out. So if I said for three months, you would tell me it's 40 what? If I said four months, it would cost you what? I'm not asking, I'm just saying, what would, how would I figure it out? If I joined for four months, how much would I have to pay them? What times four? And then I would. Now you're going to answer it one more time. Now smooth. I want to join for five months. How much is it going to cost me? What do I have to do? Loud and proud. Come on, man. There you go, buddy. So I want to join for six months. Has everybody got me now, right? Okay. Now. Does that make sense to you? I want you listening to me as we're doing this. Okay? So now my question to you is, if I wrote a check for $500, how many months could I join for? That's what we're figuring it out. All right? So how do I solve this equation? You did very good this week, so I'm expecting you to be able to tell me how to do this. What do I do? I'm trying to isolate the variable. I need to get rid of the addition and subtraction first. What do I have to do? Yes, I have to subtract 140 minus 140 minus 140. So 40M is equal to. Now, what's 500 minus 140? Very good. That's how I want to hear from you, buddy. 360. Now, what do I have to do? Yes, you do. Divide by 40. So now, what can I do to the zeros? And then, my final answer is... Look at your answer choices.
9. 36 divided by 4 is 9. Now look, hey, you hear me? I'm okay with that. Okay? I'm okay with that. Because these are tough questions. You hear me? Struggle through it. All right, speak up. Don't be afraid. All right, that's not bad. Okay, Miss Diego, you with me on this problem? Does that make sense? All right, Carly, you with me on that? Right? All right, Carter, you have to read number three. So do they owe him a refund? I'm letting him answer. Okay, so now I'm asking you, how do I figure this out? which is not what's supposed to happen, correct? Mm -hmm. So how much were they supposed to pay each? Uh, so I need to figure out how much money do I have to give them back. How do I do that? Uh, Very good. So nine, now look, don't be, hey, this is mental math for you. 925 minus 850 is how much money? How much to $9? Oh, it's, oh, it's a 70 cent therapy. Yes, each person paid 75 cents too much. Does everybody agree with that? Mm -hmm. Right? So that's 75 cents. Now, how many people paid that too much? So how do I figure out what the answer is? Yes, times 27. All right. So now, listen, let's be smart here because we're practicing mental math today. Do you hear me? If I multiply that, it has to end in a what? It has to end in a five. Everybody hearing me? Girls up front, you guys hearing me? Carly, I'm not sure you're hearing me today. Okay? So, which ones can I cross out? Shh, I'm asking him. A, A, B, and E. Beautiful. All right? So now, what are you suggesting? It's kind of close, isn't it? Seventy-five cents is how much as a fraction? Three-fourths. I kind of like doing it this way. Three-fourths times twenty-seven. What's three times twenty-seven? Eighty-one. Now, eighty-one divided by four. Is it eighteen or is it twenty? Exactly. That's why the answer is D. Did everybody see that? Now, do you agree it would be okay just to use a calculator? Is everybody agreeing with me? Yeah. Right? But I'm trying to see how much you're thinking back there. Right? Does everybody understand that problem? Yeah. Right? I thought that was an excellent question. All right? Lots of ways to do that. Lots of ways to do it. All right. Number four. Okay. Now we're going right in order. Yes, read. I don't care. M. Okay. 
Right, so how do I find average? Um, I'm not asking anybody. Um, that is correct. That's right. So how many, if I add them up right now, what do I get? Because they told you 429. Now I'm getting ready to take another test, right? Do I know what that test score is? No, so I have to do what? Shh. Well, how many test scores do I have? No, you're not listening. Come on now, think about it. Come on, this is this one that's really important. This is how kids tell how they what score do they have to get on their last test to make a grade, right? This is how many scores? Oh, five. Five. I have to take another test, right? So I'm eventually going to be dividing by what number? Shh. How many tests are there? So I'm going to be dividing by. Yes. So we should know I'm going to be dividing 429 by what? Six. So which one can I cross out right now? And? I can cross out A and C. All right. Now, I haven't taken the test. Do I know what I'm going to get on the test? No. So how do I want to know? If I don't know something, what do I give it? What do I make it? That's exactly right. Very good. So it's going to be 429 what? Shh. Nope, because that means I'm multiplying. That's right. 429 plus X, because that will give me the sum of all of their scores. You with me? And so now which one can I cross out? B, that is correct. Now. I want the average to equal what? So what's the answer? Exactly. Very good. Very good explanation. Equals 85. Now I really want everybody to highlight that. That's really, really hard for kids. Now does everybody understand this X? Somebody tell me what this X is. Who was paying attention? Who can tell me what this X is right here? What is that? That's the test that he's getting ready to take. Right, so whenever you want to find the average, you add all your test grades up, and then you divide by the number of tests, and that gives your average. Is everybody with me on this? All right. Carly, you're up. Number five. What do I have to do first? Plus what? Yes. Come on, say it. Come on, Carly. Plus what? Eight, good. All right, now what do I do? Yeah, so you're going minus 8x, very good, and minus 8x. All right, now what happens to the two 8x's? What happens to the two 8x's? Cross out now 12 minus 8. Come on. Careful. 12 minus 8. 4x equals 8. Yes. And the answer has to be what? It has to be negative. Do you agree? So what's the only answer possible? Yes, that's it. Negative 20. Divide by 4, divide by 4. X equals negative 2. Any questions, guys? Good? Thomas, you good back there? Paying attention? All right, you're up, kiddo. Good. So now I'm asking you, is it more than one dollar or less than one dollar? Exactly. So I can cross out what? Right. Okay. So now let's let's practice this because you said it right. Whenever you do division, I want you to write as a fraction from now on, guys. 18 divided by 12. You hear me? Now what can I reduce that by? Mm -hmm. 
two, and so that becomes what? Over, and then what? Do I reduce again? Now, what's three divided by two? Think about it, you got three dollars in your pocket. You gotta give me half. Yeah, one point four. Good. All right, J is correct. All right, does everybody see that? I don't like doing division, so I always write things as a fraction and I reduce my fraction. All right, is everybody okay with the fact that I reduced that down to three over two? Okay. Aiden, you're up, buddy. Read me seven, please. So what do you think? What you should concentrate on this. So look at your answers and which ones are I going to Which ones don't make any sense, please? He doesn't make any sense. I'm agreeing with you. What else? D doesn't make any sense at all. Very good. Now, before you say something, if you're not sure, I don't want you to say just eliminate just because. Okay, good. That's exactly where I want you to stop. Okay, so it's going to cost me what? $25 for the day. And then what? So which one of those represents 30 cents per mile? Come on, man. A is the answer. Now, why don't you look carefully up here, please? You recognize that's 30 cents per mile, right? Plus what? That's exactly perfect. You said it perfect. Plus the fee for renting the car, which is what? $25. Because they only rented it for what? They only rented it for one day. Hey, guys, that's a common problem right there. Did you understand that? You got that? Everybody's good? Okay. Correct answer, A. All right, circle that. Okay, who's up? Conveniently. All right, go, Leighton. You get to pick up where he left off because he snuck out the door. Okay. So, so um, number eight. Yeah, what do I have to do? <clears throat> do you want me to read it? Sure. Okay, what is the solution value so what do I have to do first? Um, oh, so this is like what we were doing. Very good, Layton. Thank you. Now tell me what to do. Okay, so um, you would um, distribute. Thank you. And when I distribute, what do I get? Uh, 3x minus 6 is equal to 9x minus 5. Yes. And now what do I do? Then you would um subtract nine x. Good. And then um add six. Good job. And then so it's um negative six x equals one. So is the answer going to be positive or negative? Um, so I can cross out. Uh, you can cross out uh, J and K. Does G make any sense? Shh. Um, not really. Not really, right? Because I don't know where they're getting 11 from, and yeah. I don't know where they're getting 12 from. Yeah. So that doesn't make sense. All right. So now, what do I have to do? Um. So it's definitely going to be a fraction, right? Very good. So the answer has to be? Um, yes, sir. I like what you just said. The answer had to be a fraction, right? Yeah. Now, why is it a fraction? Because we divide by negative 6, yeah. right? Everybody good with this? Mm -hmm. All right. Coleman, you're up. Well, wait, you're kind of like, I Okay, so, so, um, 
So here is, think about it this way. Not divide, though, because this is where he's starting out with. He's starting out at 510. Yes, that's what we learned earlier in the year. All right, he's at 510. If I multiply that by 1.2, that's going to give me my answer. All right, now why is it 1.2, Coleman? Can you remind everybody? That's right. So he's going to do 100% plus an extra what? 20%, which means it's 120%. And 120% is what decimal? 1.2. Okay. Now, can you tell me what? Hey, I want everybody listening. I wouldn't do all that math. So there's got to be something easier. So what's 10%? Everybody needs to tell me. Uh, besides, oh, I want Coleman to tell me what's 10% of 510. It would be 51. So 20% would equal what? 102. So he's going to increase by 102 pounds, right? So it's K. Very good. All right. Now, again, I'm trying to tell you guys that's important. Do you understand that? You see it now, right? And I, I want you to be able to say, no, I'm not 100%. Let's review it. All right. So here we go. Do you understand 510 represents the whole thing? Right? And we're trying to gain, we're trying to get 20% more. So 20% more, we came down and said, instead of multiplying it, because first, let me say this, 100% is 510, right? So if I increase it by 20%, that will give me 120%. You understand that? Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to take 510 multiplied by 1.2. And if we had a calculator, we'd just type in 510 times 1.2, and that'd be our answer. But we're doing things a little bit different right now. We're trying to practice mental math. So what is 10% of 510? Do you remember that? Right, because we moved the decimal back one. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. So if 10% is 51, I'm looking for what? 20%. So I multiplied by 2. Plus 10 times 2 is 20. So I multiply this by 2, and that's what? Mm -hmm. So 20% represents an extra 102 pounds. So if I start at 510, good, that's it. That's what I want everybody doing. Good for you. Um, well, because I know how to take 10% quickly. You know what I'm saying, right? So whenever I'm doing 20%, I take 10% multiplied by 2. If I'm doing 30%, I take 10% multiplied by 3. You hear me on this, right? So I'm doing 20%, so I take 10% multiplied by 2. You happy with that explanation? All right. Good. Diesel, you good on this? Yeah. All right. We have one minute. Okay, so here's no no no, don't don't put your oh, we're gonna finish up if you start you guys tomorrow, because we got lots. All right, listen, I want you to try 10, 11, 12, and 13. And listen, if you don't know how to do it, you ask your parents how to do it. Do you hear me? I want everybody to come in tomorrow to say, my parents are excellent at math. They helped me with this problem. I want them to double check your work. Does everybody hear? I'm only giving you how many? Four. Not much. Get them to help you with your math if you're not sure. But I want them double checking your work as well. Hey, you're not listening. I want them to sign your iPad. Is everybody hearing me? I want the, one of your parents to sign your iPad, check your work off that you did those four problems. Is everybody hearing me? Yes. Sign the right here. On. Yes, I want their autograph. You hear me? Listen, your homework, because you came in, is to do the next four problems. Carly, I need to talk to you. 10, 11, 12, and 13. You hear me? And then I want your mom to sign it so I know she helped you, or your dad, or your brother. You hear me? I want them to check.